Welcome to Autodesk 360 Rendering. In this video, we'll show you how to create a panoramic rendering. To begin, you will need an image created from an application such as Revit that supports panoramic viewing. Panoramic renderings are composed of six rendered frames, so make sure you have enough cloud credits available before starting a rendering. If you cancel a rendering at any point, no cloud credits will be deducted from your account. Navigate to the scene you want to render and mouse over the thumbnail. Click Render as Panorama. From the Render Settings window, you can select a different environment or use the original scene environment. Remember that the more complex the environment, the more megapixels required for rendering. You can select a render quality, use standard to test your rendering, and final when you are sure everything is set up the way you want it. You can use Advanced Exposure, which simulates physically correct lighting conditions, or, for Revit files, switch to Revit's native exposure. Resolution and file format are determined by the existing image. In this case, we'll just use the default settings. Click Start Rendering. Note that you can also start the rendering from your application. For example, in Revit 2014, you can do this from the Render in Cloud dialog box. You might have more options available to you when you do this, such as setting a different resolution or file format. While the rendering is in progress, you can navigate through the panorama to get an idea of what it will look like. Just click the thumbnail and drag across the screen. To get an estimate of the remaining rendering time, hover over the progress bar under the rendering thumbnail. Once the rendering is finished, you can navigate through and zoom into the scene. Mouse over the areas above and below the image to see the shortcut keys to do this in your browser. You can download the panorama using the Download Panorama option and open this in a third-party editor.